Charles from American Life 365. In this video, I will share with you on planting trees. I like trees, and the trees I planted in my yard brought me a lot of fun, surprises, micro climate changes, and a lot of fun. When we bought the house, fortunately. There was no tree in my yard. Since there was no tree in my yard, and my house is close to the coast, I felt very windy and dry when I was in my yard. It is very hot in the summer. I started planting trees around my house. In the end. The trees have brought us wonderful microclimate changes. There was no wind anymore, no longer dry, very pleasant feeling. The trees not only bring us pleasant microclimate changes, but also protect the house from the sun and wind. People always think the rain damages the house the most. But sunlight and wind do the most damage to the house. Sunlight burns the walls, the roofs, edges, and wears wall and roof materials. The wind will also dry the walls and roofs. You will notice more cracks in the wall facing more sunlight and wind. The paint is also lighter on the wall, facing more sunlight and wind. The trees can prevent these damages from providing shade and reducing wind. My trees also bring us a lot of green and beautiful view. Most of the trees we planted are evergreen. We paid attention to the point of view, and we sure make sure to see the most beautiful scenery when we often go and can see. We planted avocado trees between neighbors in the backyard. At the best, we can see evergreen trees. Also, gain the privacy. I remember a friend said. About the feeling of jungle. This is exactly what we want. My trees brought us a lot of fruit. We have avocado, oranges, lemons, dates, pomegranates, figs, guava, etc. I remember I made a mistake when I grew peaches and plums, acres. And once the fruit is ready, they all ripen in two weeks. Too many soft fruit fell on the ground, attracted many animals and flies, and created a lot of trouble. Even they produced very good fruits, and we still cut them down. So when you grow fruit trees, make sure. You don't plant trees that make trouble and produce a lot of fruit at once. My trees brought us the most benefits and the least damage. I notice people choose tree only by their preference, and they do not think future consequences when the tree become mature. They like to look at trees when they are young, but when they mature, they can be a huge troublemaker, and they grow to higher and higher, very tall. I once planted a palm tree in my front yard. When it was young, very beautiful, but after a few years. It becomes as high as the house. I wonder if it grows twice of the house. 
if you don't cut the le- dead leaf, it will look very ugly. If you hire a professional tree services, it can cost me a fortune. So I cut it down before it becomes a troublemaker. Trees increase property value. It makes the community looking good. I share with you a real story. There was a community in the East Coast. The crime rate was very high. Wherever crime rate is very high, the property value is very low. The residents started to grow trees, and the community looking better and better. Eventually, the beautiful looking attracted many people from upper classes to move in, and gradually transform into a higher end community. Crime rate gradually decreased to very low. Trees have played a very important role in this community change. Planting trees is definitely a good thing to do, but it can damage your property, too. I heard some people want worry about the tree, the root damage, the property, and if you plant the tree in the wrong place, it will indeed do the damage. Let's look at this picture taken in our community. A big tree is in the center of the front yard. Your sprinkler will water the trees in a very large area. Tree roots trees the water, so wherever water there, and the trees root. We'll go there. The tree roots can go very big area, the size as twice of the tree. So if the tree get plenty of water, it will grow very high, and the r- roots will grow very big and very deep. The roots. Will eventually go under your house, under your sewer pipeline. Will relocate your sewer pipe, lift your sewer pipe, or break your sewer pipe, or make it leaking. Attract your roots, go into the pipe and block your sewer. Don't grow big tree. In the center of front yard, and eventually, it will grow problems. And this happens a lot, especially for the old houses. In order to avoid this happening, you must grow your tree not above the p- sewer pipeline. Let's look at this one. A big tree. Is in the center of the front yard. How do I know where the sewer pipeline is located under the ground? Look for a S symbol on the curb in your front yard. This S indicate the city sewer pipeline is right under this symbol and goes to your house. Most likely, the sewer is right at the ninety degree angle to the house and to the street. If your big tree is in the middle of a symbol, and your house, the tree will become a troublemaker. Eventually, find your s symbol, your house. And to check if your tree is in the middle of S and the house.
if the tree is big, I suggest you just cut it down. If you grow citrus tree or other small trees, it will be fine. How big is a tree, a big tree? I think the diameter of a tree, a trunk, is more than one foot, should consider as a big tree. The roots can go to deep as six feet deep, so it will be under the pipeline. That is all for today, and in my next video on trees, I will talk about how to grow big tree or trees correctly without damage your property. We have hundreds of videos in many aspects of American life. If you like our video, please click the logo to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your effort to help us encourage us to make more videos. Thank you.